It's quite understandable that most families have concerns about the effect of both sugary and acidic foods and drinks on the dental health of the family. Most dental diseases are completely preventable by doing simple things which families should do as a routine. The most important one being brushing your teeth twice a day, morning and night, with a family fluoride toothpaste. If you brush effectively, you can prevent two main dental diseases, tooth decay and gum disease. Most children under the age of seven years old don't have enough manual dexterity to brush the teeth effectively on their own. So the parents need to help them do it. There's a vast array on the market. You need to find one that's comfortable for you, comfortable in your hand, with a small soft head rather than a large hard one. Start right at the back of your mouth. Place your brush on the area where your teeth meet the gums. And with little circles, slowly work your way round the mouth. Once you've done the top and the bottom, we need to do the inside, back tooth first, and slowly, little circles, work your way round, all the way round the mouth. As you come to these front teeth, angle your toothbrush up so that you can get all the surfaces. Last part, you can give a good scrub to the area that does the chewing. It should take you about two minutes to brush your teeth. Once you've brushed, just spit your toothpaste out. Don't rinse it away. And the fluoride stays in your mouth longer. The current recommendation is that everyone in the family should brush their teeth twice a day. For children under the age of three, they should use a small pea-sized smear of about a thousand parts per million fluoride toothpaste. For children who are over three years of age, can use a pea-sized blob of about 1,350 parts per million toothpaste on the brush. And for adults, you can use a normal-sized blob on the brush head. Dental erosion is the loss of minerals from the surface of the tooth when that surface is exposed to acidic foods and drinks. For example, sparkling drinks, smoothies, or fruit drinks like orange juice. Using a straw when consuming a drink containing acid helps prevent erosion because when you use a straw, you deliver the liquid into your mouth and your throat, bypassing any contact with the teeth. And also it's very important not to swish an acidic drink in the mouth before you swallow it. Saliva is a wonderful substance because it helps reduce the strength of any acid that enters your mouth. So for example, if you consume an acidic drink, saliva reduces the acid in your mouth and protects your teeth against dental erosion. We are surrounded by sugary foods and drinks, so it's highly unlikely families will stop consuming these completely. So the key issue for us is how to do it while maintaining good dental health for the family. And it's possible to do that. We need to do a few things. Firstly, reduce the amount of sugary food and drink that we consume. Secondly, we need to reduce the frequency of consumption to no more than four times a day. But most importantly, remember, we need to brush our teeth twice a day with fluoride toothpaste. When you've had any food or drink that is acidic, it's best to avoid brushing your teeth for at least one hour after you've consumed that food or drink. Preventing dental disease, like all other good preventive behaviors, are learned in families.